I'm a fan to the start of this offseason for this Detroit Lions team. We've gotten better, but so has the rest of the NFC North. We'll talk about the rest of the NFC North in a second, but I'm really thrilled with the way Brad Holmes has addressed this defense. It may not have been the star players that us fans wanted Brad Holmes to go after, like LeJarrius Sneed, Daniel Hunter, Brian Burns, but guess what? He's gotten players that may not be the star impact players that we wanted him to bring in, but they are impact players that are going to help this defense get off the field on third and 20 and not let a quarterback run up the middle for us and break our backs for 15 yards to where we can't get off the field not being able to get off third down and 20 it was what killed us last year on defense and some of our losses and just letting mobile quarterbacks run all over us if those things can get addressed on defense we're going to be looking really solid next year no one should be able to run on our defense our run defense last year was already one of the tops in the league we all know that with Aline McNeil now you're already adding a vet now you're adding a veteran piece and DJ Reader we all know he got signed last night to a two-year 26 or 27 and a half million dollar deal so 13 million a year with 9 million guaranteed and I know he's been banged up but that's why 9 million is guaranteed our doctor's Went through him yesterday during that meeting. He came here. That's why we offered him. Our doctors would not have told Brad Holmes to sign him if something was wrong with his groins. Let's hope he stays healthy and he's ready to go in the beginning of the season because him and Aline McNeil will be awesome and no one should be able to run the ball against us. And he can be out there on first, second, and third down and that's going to help him generate pressure up the middle. That means Aiden Hutchinson can get more pressure on the outside and whoever we decide to draft via pass rusher, or continue to address that offensive line. I think we really need to go after, right now, the way the offseason went, the way free agency went. I think the pass rusher, if you get that in the draft, where you go get Chop Robinson or Darius Robinson, that would be looking filthy on that defensive line. And good luck to the rest of the teams that we're playing. That's how I really feel about that. I'm really thrilled with the Carlton Davis trade. I know I'm a little bit of an, in a minority in this, but he can lock down some people and he can take away the number one wide receiver and we can move Cam Sutton to the outside. And that guy we brought in from the, uh, the Raiders is a complete dog. He's just like CJ Gardner Johnson, but he doesn't talk as much. He backs it up and he's in your face. And if you're going to talk crap about him, he's going to back it up with his play. Watch him versus Jerry Judy a couple years ago. Jerry Judy, he called him too small and watch him just dominate the Broncos for the rest of that game he's got that chip on his shoulder he's got that Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes kind of dog in him and I'm happy he's here because that's going to be what Jerry Jacobs was and this is what I mean our cornerback room got a hundred times better we're not throwing people out there like Vildor we're not going to be throwing people out there like Jerry Jacobs no offense to those guys I'm happy for how they performed for us last year and and some key games but also in other key games and some key losses they were struggling hardcore. So it's good to add more talent to that secondary. And we're not done adding talent to that secondary. I really think we're going to draft an edge rusher, address that offensive line, and continue to address that secondary. If you can do that, our offseason is going to be looking really good. And I cannot complain. It may not, like I said earlier in the video, it may not have been the guys that we wanted him to go after, but they are players that are going to come in here and make an impact. So I'm not really upset about this offseason. I'm kind of thrilled with it because we didn't overspend. And that's kind of how I feel with the Chicago Bears. They have money to spend, and we've seen it. They've been very active in this free agency. But it's kind of like, to me, how I'm looking at it. You have money to spend money. That's that's how they're doing it. They're spending money just because they have money. Keenan Allen, that's a great trade for him, but he's also 31 years old. He burnt Cam Sutton last year. He's still a dog. He was on my fantasy team. But I don't... I don't know how it's going to work in Chicago next year. I don't know how, how – I just don't know with Chicago. I really don't. I think their offensive line is a big question mark. I think DeAndre Swift, yes, he's good when he's healthy. We all know this. But he gets – when healthy, he gets banged up. His ankles get banged up. And Chicago plays in cold weather, colder than Philadelphia. So I don't know how DeAndre Swift's going to do. I'm not really thrilled. I'm not scared of the Chicago Bears. Let me know what you guys think. Yes, they've gotten better. I'm not going to say I'm not scared of the Chicago Bears. Um, I am sc not scared of the Chicago Bears, but they're going to be a battle and they're going to be coming for us next year. The Green Bay Packers got better. But all these teams added running backs. Aaron Jones went to Minnesota. Josh Jacobs went to the the Packers. But guess what? We just bolstered our run defense that was already tops in the league last year. So good luck being able to run on us. This is why we need to make our secondary better. And this is why we need to address pass rusher in the draft. If we address edge rusher in the draft, getting Chop Robinson or Darius Robinson, oh, I'm telling you, this will probably be an A off season. Once again, for Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell, who just got extended yesterday. This is the first time in my lifetime that coaches and a GM and Chris Spielman have gotten... Uh, have gotten uh, extended coaches and online 
management on the Lions have gotten extended in my lifetime. They are the right people for the job. I want them here for a while. And guess what? They haven't delivered on their promise yet to Sheila Ford Hamp. And you know that's eating Dan Campbell alive because he's a stand-up guy. He told her he wants to bring her a championship. And he you know he's not going to sleep until he brings them a championship. Let me know what you guys think about the video down below. Like, comment, subscribe. One Pride signing out. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.